What is up, y'all? You have tuned into another edition of Keeping It Real TV. I am your host, Regina. And today, I want to talk about Miss Cat. Do you guys know Miss Cat? Now, I done came across another one, y'all. I don't know what's going on here. I, I am really fresh on this person. Now, I have the thing is, I have seen her on me. First of all, she's another beggar. We got another beggar on our hands. We got dysfunction in the family. You know what? I really don't even know what to say because I really don't know who she is. And what I'm noticing is these people are running rampant. Just get on here, act a fool, send me money. That's how easy it is. Get on here, act a complete plump fool, embarrass yourself, and send me money. It's begging, cash apps. I mean, the same story, just wrapped in a different color package. This shit, I, I just, I, I don't understand it. But when I tell you people love a train wreck, would you look at this here? She's got 61,000 followers. <laughs> y'all is off the hook. You know, y'all are off the hook. But um, <laughs> I'm one of them. Yes, I am. <laughs> she acting a fool. She know what she doing. She acting a fool. So, hey, I love to do comedy. I love to make people laugh. Love your girl, Kat. It is what it is. Let's get it. Yeah, my eye cocked like a pistol. I know that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit, my throat. <laughs> Oh, baby, Whew. last night the hairy ass, girl, I had to, I had to use these two fingers, go all, all the way down my throat and get that hair up out my throat. It felt like I still had some down the hat. I pulled it out my throat like that, all I got, damn. Y'all motherfuckers gonna be like, damn, what the fuck is wrong with cat? Level up, 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 level up. Ain't the wrong coochie, cause that shot that bitch showed and shaved tonight. I've been in my feelings all night. Family and fed them hoochah hoochah hunk corner. Since Thursday, Friday, I would be me a bitch on the weekend. She keeps up. I ain't got way to be with you, come, but like I said, y'all were over this for uh, bringing dominoes to my fucking house. Talking about so I got paid, and she talking about them. And she getting all red in the damn face, mad as hell. Doing for you though. What is doing for you? Not a damn thing. Nothing at all. But you can get out my room though. Get my wig too. There you go. Since you want to be back here embarrassing yourself, keep continue to do it. Okay, bitch. Stay the fuck up there, bitch. Ugly. If it's some dysfunction, it is definitely some dysfunction, but I don't know what to say about this and how she talks to her mom and the things she says about her mom. I don't know if it's true. <laughs> like I said, <clears throat> I'm just showing y'all what 
she said. And then on top of that, the mom is saying some shit. And I wonder if the mom is like going off because she tired of her daughter doing this dumb shit. I mean, I'm just being real. Or, or, or is what homegirl is what a cat saying is true. But this is class A dysfunction. Hell. Oh, this girl out here embarrassing the hell out of me. She talking about we got millions of roaches in the kitchen and she need to borrow some money and get some raids and shit. No, we're not nasty. It was, it was roaches. She need money for raids and she got she still got to put everything out of the cabinets and kitchen and stuff. So it was roaches. It was roaches in here when we moved in here. Anyway. I need to buy like some money to go buy some right, like three cans of right, because this motherfucker kitchen right. All them lads telling folks a lie like, uh, ain't no food and all that. They ain't no food. They ain't no food. Why you complain? What you swear about? You the one that said you ain't got no food. Why you complain? You the one that went out of way. Went downtown and gave your motherfucking car to Nate. They help him spin up all your damn stamps. You the one did that. You Come out, that's your baby mama. Call my heart good. That bitch using you. You ain't got Fuck you, you all went to Nick, bitch. Right now, making up shit, trying to get fucked. <laughs> no, I'm not. You you're begging for money. That's what you do. No, I'm not. On it. Your old ass still going close, selling your pussy, and you 56 years old. Nasty. Wink your pussy, bitch. <laughs> Girl, mama just told my business to some to my fans that was that came back to get to bring me some hair spray. She up there telling them that I snore powder and and say I be on having different people over to the house and taking money and shit. I'm like, bitch, I don't do none of that shit. I don't do none of that shit. Get your damn dick. Pins and needles, motherfucker. Pins and needles. Can't even feel your pussy. That's because yeah. you smile. You can't fit. Hell, that's your ass nasty. I'm sorry. You bitch, man. I, don't give I got vagina issues, guys. She got infection anyway. I have vagina I got some of your ass. ass. You don't feel my dick. World, I gave birth to you. You're an adult now. You can do what the fuck you want to do. Uh, and all oh. this old stuff. Why you all of my life doing this? Why is you on live anyway? Because I can't in this my fucking and because phone. And I, I pay my and fucking I'm phone. Your, and I'm, my mother, I'm your motherfucking mama. And because I can't, I gave birth to you. And I'm here for you whatever. I'm your friend, your mama, your sister, your brother, whoever you fucking want me to be. Go ahead, say it. I bought you in the world. I'm gonna take you out. Go ahead, say it. I, I I'm not you Marvin Gaye's daddy. I'm not finna take your ass out. <laughs> I'll choke hold the next motherfucker and take them out for misusing you. Think you got friends? You got some friends. I clean up your room. You walk through the house and show the house off, but you ain't show nobody your goddamn room. How you keep your room? I did show it about my room show yesterday, you last your room. night. Show them how you and, keep your room. And I told them I keep my room. You gotta have a motherfucking new member of my You gotta have a motherfucking new member of my No, she don't. She got to say a pussy just to buy me bed. I don't say a pussy. Yes, you do. You all nasty, hey. Your mama work hard every goddamn day. No, she don't. I'm done. Why you lying? She lost her I'm fucking done. job. My money. mama ain't got no job, y'all. She a broke down hoe. They ain't telling me to disrespect my mama. Uh, I disrespect her on my own time. Ain't nobody tell me to disrespect her. My mama ain't shit in the fucking way. I mean, if she was dead and gone, I still wouldn't even feel bad that she gone. Well, it seems like with Kat, she don't care who you are. At this point, now she is going off on her baby daddy. She says she has a son whom, whom lives with his dad. She did give out his name, y'all.
So I did try to find that picture. You know I did. And this is what I found. He didn't in trouble, my son, on his favorite page or nothing. The only thing I want to see is the fucking daddy having fun with his son. But he did not he did not put my son on his favorite page of shit. He's a fucking lame. He's sick, he'll dead be whole. If y'all wanna look at my baby daddy, go look his I ass up. It. And you talking about something mom high. I ain't know about to high. My nose stopped up. Your mama looking for you. I don't give a damn shit looking for me or not. Fuck you. And my mama. Period. But like I said, that bitch wrong for that. I don't think I'm, I'm doing looking on his page, trying to find out what my son is. This bitch, I need to try to show my son, because he really fucking embarrassed to me, fool. For real. Now, when I go to his grandma's house and just shoot that bitch in the fucking head with a fucking gun, then what? I don't, I wouldn't give a damn. Because he don't give a fuck about me or him fucking having a fucking son together. I don't give a fuck about his grandma, period. I don't give a damn. I go up in that motherfucking bus his grandma in the face with a fucking pistol, bitch. You think I give a fuck? I'm a crazy asshole. Serious. For real. Now, if that wasn't enough, Cat ain't done yet. She has one more message for good old Mello, Savannah Jenkins. Mello, the little slow, fat, troubled, four-alley bitch. Mello, if you watch my live, you was a four-alley hoe and bisexual bitch. <laughs> yup, that was the fuck I said. You said it's not cool. What's not cool? Melo be wanting her fans to buy her car and pay her rent and some more shit. Now, I'm not Melo. I don't beg like that. I be asking. I do not beg. Melo be wanting people to pay her rent, buy her car, buy her some clothes and some more shit. I'm not, I'm not none of Melo or I'm not none of Lady Munch, okay? I be asking for like $10 or something. Now, I do have just one final thought. I don't know what's going on with Kat and her mom and all the dysfunction that we see. But one thing I do know is that her mom is not out here begging for money online every day. I don't know if her mom is frustrated. I'm sure she is from the sound of her voice. It sounds like she's frustrated with her daughter, as she should be, at least... She's saying something to her ass. You can't ever say that this woman ain't told her daughter what's right. Now, whether she listens or not, that's on her. But the total disrespect that she shows her mom is unthinkable. 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 I could never. Y'all cherish your moms and your dads while they're here. I haven't had a mother in several years. Not even several. Over 20 so cherish them while they're here and don't talk to your mama and your daddy like this girl is talking to her. She may say she don't care if her mom die, but if her mom die, huh, let's see who will really be there for Because these people rooting you on, your fans are looking at you because they want to laugh. But that is not for me to decide. Y'all let me know how you are feeling in the comments all about Kat and her simple ass antics. Let me know how you feel about the total disrespect that Kat shows her mother. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another edition of Keeping It Real TV. I am your host, Regina. Remember to always keep it real. And I am out.